What's up, YouTube? Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed, hit that naughty bell. Let's get into it. If you guys watched the last video, you remember me talking about coming out with a video of an install on the fuel system. Well, look what came today from four innovations. My fuel system finally got here. It took a while. It's still not all here, but the main parts are here. We're still waiting on the controller and I think a couple wiring harnesses. As you can see, the car is a little bit all over the place. Uh, I had to gain access to my Whipple fuel rails down there. Um, we've got to be running a uh, 1200, uh, I think a 1200 horsepower dual pump for innovations fuel system. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking for real. Um, I'm not going to go in super detail like you do this, do that. I'm just going to, you know, put it together and you know, give you guys a rundown. Approximately 10 hours later. All right, y'all. So as you can see, I have the supercharger off. The bolts are pretty far back there. So uh, I had to take the fuel rails off, um, run the new lines with the adapters. So I got the fuel regulator right here. Got my return line, my feed line. I'm running it underneath the car right now. It's been a process. I've been like putting in like two hours here, two hours there. I'm in no real rush to finish it. But yeah, you see it's it takes a little bit. I mean, I'm getting there. I have the controller back here too with all the fuses, relays, and all that. I'm also running a hob switch too, so I have a dual pump. So I have one pump on at all times, and then when I'm under boost, uh, this basically kicks on the second pump. <laughs> everything pretty much done we're about to install the pressure gauge so we can set the fuel pressure and then we'll be ready to start it all right so i'll give you guys a quick rundown before we start it and all that so we did our 90 degree connections both sides of the fuel rails ran the lines got our regulator right here we have our controller back here running from our fuel hat and then below the car is where, you know, you have your fuel filter, all that. All E85 compatible, 110, pretty much any fuel for real. I would say pretty much anyone can do it. I mean, it definitely takes some time. You got to look at some wiring diagrams because it's not like the VMP kits where it's just plug and play. All right, let's hop in real quick. First start. Pumps kick on. Oh, she's alive. She hasn't been started in like at least a month. She's finally back on. Fuel pressure is set. All right, guys. So and that's pretty much the video. Um, nothing too crazy. Just a little install. Wanted to give you guys a little, you know, what was going on with the car. Why I haven't posted in so long. So yeah. Stay tuned, the next video, we're gonna be getting an E85 tune and switching pulleys. So stay tuned, see you guys then, peace.